part two. We've got shredded wheat with a banana and chocolate oat bake. I have just come back from doing intervals. Now, when I say I was not looking forward to that session, wasn't feeling it. The fact that it's so windy outside, no one likes running in the wind, let alone doing intervals when you've got headwind fully against you. By the way, I wore brand new Gymshark running leggings because they do have a little back pocket. They've got the drawstring. My verdict is very good for running. I didn't at all have to pull them up whilst I was running. Um, bacon. <laughs> Just gonna do a little interlude there. Thank you. Oh, where was I? I didn't have to pull them up at all as I ran. Good little back pocket for keys or, I don't know, a gel or whatever you want to take. And then they've got a little thing here. So you could, you could do that. I rate them. I'll put the name of it up here. And I'm wearing the rouged um, sports bra. Just in case you weren't aware, I have a code. This is absolutely massive. As of Friday, the 7th of July, code STEPH will get you 20% off Gymshark on top of the insane sale that there is going on right now. There are things that are up to 90% off. So if we do the maths, <laughs> are we getting money back at this point? It's insane. Now back to the interval session. The session was 50 minute warm up, which worst warm up felt like a slug, genuinely hideous. It was two lots of eight minutes of effort with a four minute easy in between. The second lot of eight minutes absolutely destroyed me. There was, it was just fully headwind the whole time. And even though I was putting in the same amount of effort as the first interval, if not more, I was getting nowhere. But it's okay because pace isn't everything, it's it's how much effort you're putting in. Oh no, also, I did get a, um, a new PR. I got a new mile PR. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Six minutes and 19 seconds, 3.55. I totaled 15.7k, average 434 pace, ran for a total of 1 hour and 12 minutes. To sum up, felt awful going into it. Got attacked by the headwind on the second interval and then did like an easy cool down. And now the plan is, I'm gonna wash my- no, I'm not gonna wash my hair. Oh, and we're doing open water, right? Yeah. Grant and I are going on a little road trip, really. We're grinding. <laughs> we pretend it's for pleasure. Grant is really... He's the MVP boyfriend. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> Coming in. <laughs> so, we've just made it to Norfolk. Yep. This is where we're staying. How cute is this? I always appreciate the little details. Strawberry and champagne conserve. We've got all the breakfast bits going on. A stocked fridge. We have breads. <laughs> We've got bread. Bread items. Four slices, I Wass counted. Poisson. Poisson. Oh, that Wasson. smells good. Get, give them the aromas. Oh, Four Steph eats breakfast already. <laughs> the lounge area. The lounge area. Essentials here again. I didn't see these. Chocolate truffle. Should we have them now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Let, gonna, me get, let me get that. Gonna let, me. let us in. <laughs> then here. Yeah. This is the bedroom. Yeah. Quite right. self-explanatory. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this the shower? Ah, uh, the shower. Also, to our little garden. This beautiful little thing. Go on then, get out there. I'm showing the people. <laughs> get out there. It's very windy though. I'm just gonna raise some, some concerns. It's very windy right now. Like, here she goes. Get, get your excuses in. Early. No, it's just really windy, and so I was a little bit of a concern. I mean, look. She asked that. She asked that Airbnb host, "Is it windy here?" Yeah. Let's <laughs> taste test. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are the croissants that Grant told me to put away because they're for breakfast. <laughs> It literally took us 20 seconds. So right. It persuaded me. Really yeah. I wonder if, she, if they can see us. Because <laughs> they'll be like, that's meant to be your breakfast. They'll be like, there's only two of them when they turn up. Why is all of them? Yeah, why is everything gone? Cheers to Hokum. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm. Mm. Do you want some apple juice? AKA, can you get me some apple juice? Is that what you're getting at? That's really um, just kind of opened up my appetite now. Thumbs up. 
Are you going to have um, two toasts in the morning? Okay. <laughs> Shall I eat the bread now? No. Don't eat the bread now. There's no peanut butter though. Have the crisps if you want some. They're already salted though. Right, no more breakfast items, okay? I might just have a little bit of Cheerios. No. Like, yeah. <laughs> you just dribbled, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Free swim snack. Who watching this is thinking, I would do exactly that. I do exactly the same as you, Nutty Food, if it does. Half the, half the Cheerios gone. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. Grant has a go at me like, oh, you're gonna eat the croissants now. He eats them. Yeah. You can have the Cheerios now. He eats them. Yeah, but I wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for you. So everything can be blamed on you. Okay. No. There's sugar there as well. Does it? Do we need? Do we need sugar? No. Needs a tiny bit of sugar. <laughs> Come prepared. We've got flapjacks, we've got all the gels for tomorrow, bottles, our bites are now in. Just in the process of getting ready, gonna be wearing <laughs> the full, the full shebang. Got my tri suit so just to get comfortable wearing everything that I will be wearing on the race. I've not yet mentioned that I'm doing a half Ironman. You still waffling on in there? Yeah, I'll talk more as we get further into the week. Fine. That was just my GoPro. <laughs> I can count the number of times I've been open water swimming on one hand. It's okay. But the more practice, the better. <laughs> Goggles, towel. Excuse the pun, but some lube to obviously put on around my neck. Wetsuit. So it's a little bit windy. I've still got my trackies on. Woo! Oh, sheesh, it's cold. <laughs> As we were walking, a couple basically looked at us and said good luck <laughs> and then laughed. I don't know how to take that. But you've got to try and get the swim experience in where you can. If you wish us luck. You think they can help with you? It's quite, it's quite choppy out there. Uh, don't go out too far. You can do your watch. You gonna put it on? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna do like a one-hour swim. I'm just gonna like test it out. Maybe doing a bit more than 600 meters. <laughs> it's cold! Right. That was an experience. I was going to get changed. Sure, change. Not, they're not that wet. Maybe just put those on. Okay. Sorry, okay. I interrupted your, really interrupted your vlog then. We went to Hokan Beach. We might as well just find food close by instead of going home and then back. Yeah. Right? So yeah. we're going to go get something to eat. Be right back. Shame we don't have the table over there because it overlooks the view. But it's okay, we didn't have a reservation. And we went to another place first, but it was too busy. Food has arrived. 
It looks good. Do you like the, the fact that that's not even fitting on the plate and the plate is pretty big? Of course, the batter's got a good colour to it. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does have a good colour. One minute and 37 seconds later. <laughs> 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I would agree with that. Because it wasn't a Percy, but it was great. Yeah. The no. batter could have been triple, could have been crispier. Maybe just a little more salt. More salt, more salt. Yeah. But other than that, very good. More fries. More. More, just, just more. Wait, like, can you hear that? Is that the dessert menu? Dessert is calling. <laughs> I saw those profiteroles. I think the profiteroles have my name all over them. Oh my god, I can smell the sticky tacky pudding. Woo. Yum! Let's go. Oh, look at that. I was hoping that they would give me like chocolate sauce to pour over, but alas, no chocolate sauce came. Now, you know the type from Costco? Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think they are the ones from Costco. <laughs> I dip the this roll in the toffee sauce. That's the place we wanted to go to, but it was fun. And we ended up there. not vlog looking this good. Yeah, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. I had a shower and it took me about 80% of the shower to clean my wetsuit because it was covered in sand versus a small percentage on myself. They miss you, but you're just not giving much. I've, I've given a lot today. And now it's... What have you given? I've clocked off. Yeah, <laughs> you've clocked off. I've clocked off. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, you'll see Grant in the morning. 10, it's nearly 10pm. Okay, you'll Most see Grant in the morning. 9 to 5, you know, out of office. I've got a Yorkie, because I'll be honest, that dinner was great, but they were so stingy on the chocolate sauce that I needed chocolate to compensate for the lack of. Let's quickly settle this debate and then I'll see you guys in the morning. What is superior? The original, is it the orange? Comment down below, orange, blue, or maybe you're a weirdo that likes the biscuit and raisin one. I don't know, but if you are, don't hold back, like let me know. <laughs> I wanna know how many weirdos go for the purple over these. Do you remember when it used to say it's not for females? Not for girls. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't say that anymore. I mean, I wasn't offended. I used to always get it anyway. Exactly. Mmm. <laughs> gonna wake up super early and go on a bike ride with a fellow Nutting Nationer. They reached out to me and said they live very close. So we're gonna go and mm. cycle with him. His name is Josh. You'll see him tomorrow. He's an elite triathlete but it's gonna be a, a long 90K, so, yep. Short 90K. Short 90K. Sounds about. Nothing. That's anyway, all. we're gonna watch Tour de France now. Hopefully I can Race get some inspo just by watching. Sucks. Bye, good night. Morning. Good morning, guys. We have the breakfast set up. We're about to just go straight in and eat everything in sight. <laughs> The time is currently 6.20. Yeah, I'm gonna have... Some sugar. Oh, and we've got flapjacks. Always gotta have flapjacks. Should I just spoon the rest? Yeah. Well, the plan was to make a sandwich. It's all gonna spew out because it's mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. Might just have to eat it. I would have tasted it though. Oh, do you know what? Might as well just eat it. It's gonna squish out. Mm -hmm.
Can't have that squished out. No. The plan was to make a sandwich to have more food on the bike. But because I used the entire thing, in order to fit all the food in, you've got to squish it. So by squishing it, all the jam would have come out. That's a waste. So you had to eat so it. So I have to eat it. Oh no, <laughs> what a nightmare. Now I'm out. Fetch me some more. What else do you want? Do you want croissants? Oh yeah, we, no we haven't gone, have we? Have we got any? We ate them. Oh yeah, we ate them. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast had all of this for the bike. So this is just my, my stuff and then Grant's got his own. So we've obviously got the gels, electrolytes, flapjacks. I've actually got some new bits. So hopefully it fits from Nicole. Look how cute. I can tell I'm actually getting into cycling when I get excited about new bibs and sunglasses. Got some Lacole socks, a little gilet. I love this. So we've got this little jersey top, which is like lilac and navy, which I know clashes a bit with black, but I do only have black bib shorts. A navy jersey. What would you go for? I feel like this one's probably gonna be better. That navy kind of then blends into the black, is my thinking. I tried them both on, but I don't have that much time. I only went and bought new glasses because the ones I currently wear, they hurt so much on the bridge. This is really annoying me. Can we just ignore that I've had a white collar the whole time? And my nails are only half painted, so ignore that. But what do we think? <laughs> They're so, so comfortable. They're called Oakley Sutros, I think. I've also got a really small head, so I find that a lot of sunglasses are way too big, basically slide off my head, so. These are perfect, would recommend if you have a small head. Recycling outfit, who dare? It's cute. Very nice. Oh, they're really soft. I'm used to like thicker. Officially done. So we did 91.6k, average speed 26.9, total time 3 hours 24. The um, Garmin actually said you win because <laughs> hey. I did a course. Say right. Yay, new record, fastest 40k. Previous record was 1 hour 26 and today it was 1 hour 20 for 40k. Nice. That's a solid PR. Really solid. Best power was 169 watts for 20 minutes. Basically, I've got all the PRs today. And Josh is here. Hello. I introduced you as an elite triathlete. Well, thank you very there much. You I'll take that This one. is your moment. This is my moment. Yeah. Oh, I don't really know what to say. I'm <laughs> Josh, the humble triathlete. The humble triathlete. Let's just go with that. Yeah, I've done a bit of triathlon. I've done a few long distance tries, a few 70.3s. We're just doing it for fun now. Josh, didn't you win amateur? I was Dubai? about to say that. A few years ago, I won their amateur race at Ironman Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. Woo yeah. yeah. No, thanks guys, thanks. Steph, how was it riding with like, cause we don't really ride with anyone else. No, we just, yeah, just us. Wasn't that the least problematic ride I've ever had? I feel like Josh is very calming. Very calm. And also so pulled strong. us, just pulled us along. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, obviously I've just done a 90K with you guys. I still do not know how I'm gonna feel yeah. cycling 90K on my own. Like, yeah. I just don't know whether I was keeping up where it would be a struggle to do that on my own. I, I think that you, you didn't draft once. No, yeah. no. So the fact that you, like, you kept up on your own momentum. You'll be grand next week, absolutely. Hopefully. I enjoyed that. It's great. Oh no, I'm covered in gel. Oh so, yeah, <laughs> there, was, there was a moment, wasn't there? A bit of a gel explosion. Which, There's um, gel everywhere. <laughs> Steph's gel got excited. <laughs> With only one um, oh, you've chain. got one chain You're not a proper cyclist if you don't have one of them. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Exactly. Just that. And new helmet, new glasses. Who this? You fully look like a cyclist. Yeah, you do, yeah. <laughs> You're ticking all the boxes. The, we're, we're now going to do uh, a You're going to do a run? run. Yeah, oh, we'll yeah. do one lap of the run course. And then what sort of pace are you going to go for, do you think? Oh, you know, just a four minute. Yeah. <laughs> no, the hard bit's done. Yeah. And now, like, the fun starts. Yeah. So. And then what is it? Cake after? Lunch. Lunch. Everyone's around. Yeah, Lunch. Everyone's yeah, around. Everyone's so. around. So 
Steph trying to drop me. <laughs> Save those legs. Steph, talk to us. What's going on? Okay, can we first appreciate this pulled pork sub roll? Like, that's almost as big as my arm. Yeah, that is pretty so big. As big as your bicep, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So we, we survived the run. The run was really good. We did a, like nearly 7K. It was like yeah, a six 7K, yeah. something. I'll put the stats on the screen, but like, we did the 429? 429, pushed the hill a little bit yeah. and then just used the course. And yeah, felt really hard at the start just because there was an incline and there was wind against us, but then chilling. So I'm really happy with that. Smashed it. And now we're going to smash this. Let me just give them a taste Sight test. Sight the girth of it. <laughs> I know. Pulled pork. Okay. Let's go in. That was a hench bite. It's like a soft roll as well. That's... Yeah. Nice. Yeah? Give me a out of 10. 12. 12, 10. So good. <laughs> so good. Josh, what have we gone for? I've gone for a classic BLT. Can't and go wrong. And some white rocky road. I mean, you've got to finish with a bit of right? Yeah. No. I love just out of frame steps. Just... <laughs> this will be beautiful. <laughs> that is fantastic. So wow. Well. We've just finished up. So we've done the bike. We've yeah. done the run we've done the cake <laughs> we've done the rocky roads overall it's been good hasn't it it's been a great day i really appreciate it no worries thank at you all. so much great time and um good luck for next weekend i'll show you a smash it i haven't actually told them yeah guys i'm doing a 70.3 in less than a week oh my god <laughs> i haven't told them yet. obviously this is going to be the week leading up to yeah, it so yeah. so guys now you know okay now you know <laughs> so <Oops. laughs> you'll probably see josh again because we're doing the same main race that steph's training for barcelona i'm also entered up so he'll just be yeah. a little just a little bit faster you can plug me in if you want to follow josh i'm, I'm josh, josh. Like i've that, saved yeah. your number as i'm and josh as well Brilliant, yeah. most people have monsters for energy <laughs> we have it as a to PBs. PBs, let's go. <laughs> so we are back. I'm showered. The thing that Grant and I like to do when we cannot be bothered to cook is either get Nando's, get a kebab, or get fish and chips. We have had all three as of late. <laughs> so the other alternative, Cajun chicken. Put that in a pan with a whole pack of rice, some onion. Some mushrooms, fish bash bosh. You put that all in a pan and you get one pan wonder. Basically everything I showed you, I just added into that. And then I will probably put some sweet chili sauce over that. Saucy. Even though it looks like I've made enough for four people, we will just do that. Barely enough for two. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Another day, another peanut butter jar. I have a new one on the way though. There are oats underneath this. <laughs> and then I just chopped up one whole banana one apple and some strawberries and then mix some salted caramel protein guys i'm currently shitting myself when i say like my legs are semi shaking i wish i were joking i'm doing my first ever triathlon in four days and yet i've never to this day cycled outside on my own <laughs> like i'm scared <laughs> oh, i don't think you guys understand <laughs> in four days i'm doing half an iron man and yet right now i'm shaking just at the thought of cycling outside on my own man <laughs> it sounds so stupid i don't know how long i'm gonna last 
Like, whatever I do, I'm going to try and do my best. But if I get too scared, I'll come back in and then do the session on the turbo. Like, I know I could do this one hour 20 session on the turbo, but I know I also need to be able to drink on the bike. What's weird is that I can eat whilst on the bike because I can take gels out from the back and eat. But I struggle to pick up the bottle and drink. So I'm going to just do my best. Four days out from a 70.3. And she's never cycled on her own. Don't tell me it's raining. It's drizzling! I know I'm far from at the start of this cycling malarkey, but from someone that's never ridden on a bike before to now, like, riding a road bike and doing an Ironman, like, it's still a massive jump. Ain't nothing to it, though. It's only the junctions that you'll be scared of. <laughs> Bye. I'm telling you right now, my whoop stress score is going to be through the roof okay so i did a total of 24 minutes and 39 seconds i've still got an hour on the turbo i tried to avoid that one more loop just don't think i can do that right now i wonder if there's anyone else that's like gonna do a 70.3 and yet is at this sort of level am i gonna be the most newbie person there probably so I'll do it one more time. One more time. I could do it just one more time. Oh, okay, I'm going to do it. Let's go. 49 minutes. 20.6k. I'm going to leave it as that. I tried to drink on the bike and I just couldn't. Like I drank and then I couldn't put the drink back down. I was literally cycling like this. Which is not the one when you don't have that technical cycling ability. Okay, I just want to show you what I meant when I said that cycling stressed me out. I'm going to show you my stress monitor. It never reaches high. Now look at how stressed I was whilst I was cycling. Do you see that? Aside from the cycling stress, I at least have very good recovery at the moment. If you don't know what this screen is, by the way, this is Whoop, and that tracks my strain, how much energy I'm exerting. Based on that, I see how recovered I am. We got six hours, 36, 648, 556. In general, I get six and a half hours. So given the amount of exercise and sleep, I think, I think we're doing good. We're in a good place. And this is the current situation. Chocolate rice cakes, sweet and salty popcorn. I've never opened one of these and not finished the whole thing. I don't know how people do it. Apparently there's there's three servings in this. There's a shocking lack of chocolate there. Tonight, Grant and I are going for a Thai dinner and we're gonna go shuffleboarding. It'll take my mind off all this nonsense. See what I mean? Just went swimming and managed to do 600 meters instead of 3.2k not ideal the swimming pool was closed for maintenance work we'll avoid that session i just bumped into a subscriber so louise if you're watching this video it was good to meet you duck spring rolls yeah. vegetable tempura yeah. sesame yeah. corn toast starters boom let's go i got the chicken masaman curry sticky rice i went for the pad thai with chicken Ooh. Look at that. Okay, I think it's a unanimous 12 out of 10. Yeah. Honestly, that Massaman curry, oh my. Right, banana fritters for dessert, obviously, with ice cream. It's just the go-to. So we've come to um, shuffleboard. It's getting tense up here. That's me, that's Grant. These are my points, those are Grant's. I will just let you guys know that Grant has beat me in the other game. Still one overall, best out of three. Excuse me, it's the last one that counts. <laughs> it says more to share, I'm not understanding why it's saying more to share. Grant, where did the other five portions of um, M&M's go? Meant to be doing 180 to 190 watts for five minutes, four times. Haven't hit anything. 
near that. If I have a bad training session, I don't automatically think, Oh, I'm shit. But the way I'm feeling right now about that, not great. I've now got to run off the bike and then I've got to swim. Wow. Damn it. I know that I've come such a long way. Yesterday, I rode the bike on my own. That's a massive, massive thing. I'm fine. <laughs> she says that she's crying, but like when I say my younger self in a PE class or not, because I'd probably be skipping it, would never have ever imagined that I would be doing anything related to fitness, let alone training for an Ironman. And for that, I am very proud, but it's not at all easy. It's always hard, but I managed to keep going and I will keep going. I will stop vlogging in, in a minute and try and smash this run off the bike, but it's just difficult. I already told Andrew that the bike session was utter shit. I said to him, it was like me attempting to run at a 2.30 pace when I normally run at a 4.30 pace, like just completely out of my depth. I mean, he apologised, but then he also said it's because he has belief in me. I know he does, and it's only as a result of him believing in me that obviously he pushes me a lot, but that just felt way too much and just made me <laughs> fall off. It's very hard to keep on going when you don't have those people around you to understand how hard it is. Even from my family, I say, oh, I've got a really hard day today. And their response is always kind of like, oh, you'll be fine. Because the general feel is, I've always got this. It's my own fault for having a tattoo that says you got this, but anyway, I'm going to quickly run. And I also have to run quickly. I'm filming the very first time I've got upset over a training session. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Anyway, three days until I do a 70.3. Woohoo. Right, I'm gonna run off the bike. I'm wearing a tri suit. Hopefully, that makes me a bit faster. I'm sorry for. <laughs> I've got to do 3k hard and then the rest easy. So I'll just do my best. I'll just do my best. So, 40 minutes has passed. I've come back from the run and I'm in a completely different headspace than I was before I left. Sorry guys for that total breakdown. I honestly, I don't really know what got into me. I don't know. I know it's fine to cry. <laughs> I have no issues with that. But I don't, I've never felt so shit over a training session. I just think the long and short of it is the target was set way too high. And instead of just accepting that, it just brought me even further down. I always say like it's not always about hitting paces and hitting times and hitting powers and watts like as long as you do your best as long as I do my best and I know that I've done my best I feel good about it but I just didn't feel good about that because I didn't do my best but it's okay I made up for it in my run. <laughs> 3k faster than the rest easy so I did 9.3k which means I'm 0.7k away from a 40 minute 10k <laughs> seems like a little bit but it's actually so far yeah i'm happy with that redeem myself with a run off the bike i mean i know i don't need to apologize for feeling how i felt but like it's really kind of out of character for me but clearly i needed to cry i'm gonna make a whole a massive bowl of pasta and i also have a call with andrew like right now 11 minutes late but i also need to make pasta and i also need to swim Shit. realistically i'm not gonna swim Realistically, I can't make this work. I'm gonna have to do this session another day. Pasta had, call with Andrew had, swim not done, and I just got a 12 kg delivery. <laughs> Let me do a quick unbox. These will last approximately one day. I swear, if my protein did peanuts, I'd be all over them. Also got some baked cookies. Favourite is the baked chocolate chip, then it's the top double chocolate, then it would have to be the peanut butter filled, and then in last place the salted caramel. Got some more oat bakes, got some break bars, chocolate wafers, another box of wafers. They're Grant's favourites. I'm laughing because this is not going to last. If I open this before Grant gets home, he will not even try it. 
The flapjacks are my favourite. The double dough brownies. White chocolate and marshmallow. Crunchy peanut butter. And then one mixed nut butter. The whole reason I did that my protein order was because I wanted a bright towel so that when it comes to putting my bike and running stuff during the race, I wanted to be able to spot my stuff. And I think we understood the assignment. Now I should be swimming. By the way, code naughty to save absolute dollar from my protein. And on that note, little bit deformed. Slightly. <laughs> Who is ready to see the weirdest mashup plate ever? So random. We're, we've got some sushi. <laughs> then I've got two eggs on bread. Couldn't be bothered to toast it. And I've got uh, chocolate wafers. What came first, the sushi or the egg? Definitely sushi. Cheers. To being two days away from doing my first triathlon. Not even scared. Not even mentioned it. I hope you have enjoyed watching this week of training, this build up to my very first triathlon. If you are in a similar position or if you have a triathlon or a race coming up, I wish you all the best of luck. I'm nervous. It's just a training race, but you know, with anything new that you've never done before, you're obviously gonna feel just out of your comfort zone, but I'm gonna embrace it and I'm gonna try it and have the best time out there. Thank you so much for supporting and being there with me as I train towards an Ironman this year. Please give the video a thumbs up if you would like Grant to be back on the channel and back doing a madness challenge with me. We are planning to, shall I tell them? No. 5k likes and Grant will be back taking part in a ridiculous challenge. <laughs> taking over the YouTube. Much love. Bye. Got that on camera. <laughs> so what was the point? Oh, I feel so rusty. You have a shit situation. It doesn't mean it's a shit day. And a shit day doesn't mean it's a shit life. And a shit training session doesn't mean you're shit at training. And all we can do is our best. That's it. That's all I got for you. Comment. Eggy bread.